Why don't we get you in the ambulance and then you make that yeah, call? Yeah, we'll okay. Thing up. Yeah, it might have actually been the it might have been the bone that poked out. Yeah, he'll, he'll get that. Come with me. Yeah, just keep your arm still. I know you probably broke your arm, so we'll get you splinted up and we'll help with the pain. Okay. something to my shoulder okay. and there's a big gash in the bottom okay. of my elbow. Okay, we'll get you sorted here. How's your legs? <laughs> they're all, they're yeah. fine. Do you think you're, are you able to wait there? You yeah, I walked, I walked from here, but my shoulder, I don't know, I may have, yeah, so I could lift yeah. it before, oh, but I see. Okay. I'm not, it's you might starting have, to be more and more painful. Yeah, it might have actually been the, it might have been the bone that poked out. Um, it looks like that's probably what happened, but. <laughs> I was carrying this and it caught in my handle and pushed my handlebars and I just went pshh, pshh. Is you on your side? How's your head feel? I had this on. Yeah, good. So I'm, my head's fine, but my shoulder is really yeah. I think we should try to get you off the road here. Um, and there's a huge cash yeah, on, right, on the side of my elbow. Okay, ready? Do you think you can do it? Ready on three? One, two, three. All this stuff is yours, yeah? Yeah. Just keep your arm still. I've done something. I know, you probably broke your arm, so we'll get you splinted up and we'll help with the pain, okay? <laughs> but have a seat in this chair here. Uh, Where's it hurt? Just right up there? There. Okay, there's no obvious deformity up there. Okay. How does this feel? <laughs> we'll just wrap some uh, gauze around it and then I think we'll put your arm in a sling, okay? okay. And then um, tie it to your body and then just okay. keep it from moving. And that's about all we can do for you. And then um, they'll probably do, they might even do an x-ray for you at the hospital. Yeah. So, how fast do you think you're going? Mm, 20, 
30k. Turn downhill? Uphill. Up, oh, you're going uphill, okay. It's a electric one. Okay. How's your neck feel? I don't know. Okay. I mean, I'm so glad I have that helmet on. Yeah, absolutely. Okay, Peter? Ah. Is that comfortable there? Yeah. Okay, right on there. Thank you. <laughs> Gross gory warning. Six six stitches. Sewed my elbow back together. Oh, I'm so glad I had that helmet. If I hadn't had that helmet, I would have had a huge graze or an open wound on my head too. And my shoulders fine, there's no broken bones, but it was severely wrenched, so keep it stationary for a little bit and then start rehabilitating my my whole shoulder. It is really painful. Whew, I'm alive. When I left the hospital I was pretty happy. I think they gave me opioids or like some sort of painkiller like that and my system is very sensitive so they only gave me like half a tablet or something like that. And I was flying. I was quite happy and quite like positive and like, this is nothing, it's fine, I can bounce back. Isn't it amazing? I have holes in my body and nothing was falling out. And it's totally not how I feel right now. All my plans for doing stuff for the next month are now having to be revisited. I'm gonna have to spend the next little while in severe rehabilitation for my shoulder. And it's my right hand, so like power tools, anything heavy that I need to pick up. I'm just not going to be able to do that for probably another couple months now. It's really frustrating because I had planned my solar system, my propane tank, and my water tanks. And I was hoping to be like helping out with some of these jobs. I've got people to help me with these professionals. And I was hoping to get my hands dirty. And I'm going to have to just like be more passive and like watch and learn <laughs> i'm very upset about it and at the moment i'm okay i'm feeling emotionally kind of resigned but i'm sure i'm gonna have some frustrating ups and downs send love send 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 your messages to me to keep on going and not to get too frustrated i'm gonna need the encouragement uh, I can't even go in the ocean for a few days, for a few weeks now. Morning, everybody. It is a beautiful day outside. The sun is just peeking in. How gorgeous is that? I managed to sleep last night. My first night. With all my injuries, I cannot believe that I made myself into a road pizza. I honestly do not know how I hit the pavement and came off with so little road, ra road rash. Like, my two knees have barely got scrapes on them. My elbow is nasty, but that's one tiny area. Like, I could have taken old off whole chunks of my thigh and I did not. I do not know how that happened. I feel so freaking lucky. It's wild. Oh. Yeah. So I basically want to give you a tally of my injuries. This is the worst bit. So that's where my stitches are. But the worst part about it is my whole shoulder is debilitated. I can't, like, I can't really lift my whole arm. The front of my pec muscle here and all around the scapula slash shoulder blade is ruined. <laughs> it's probably the only way I'm going to describe it. I'm going to go to a physiotherapist at some point and get a proper physio diagnosis and start rehabilitation because... I freaking need my shoulder to work. I need it to be able to do to do stuff. 
Even living van life requires me to carry heavy things and I only have one arm right now and that doesn't work. I scraped this wrist and although that scrape is not bad my whole wrist is a bit swollen because I think I was holding on to the handlebars and my knuckle. I mean for scraped knuckles that's not too bad like those will heal pretty quickly. I'm very lucky. Oh my god I am so lucky. Yes my shoulder is fucked but it could have been so much worse. It could have been so much worse honestly so now I'm just gonna try and make sure I take care of my neck because I have this reoccurring thing on this problem this shoulder from I god knows what I think falling off a ladder I fell off a ladder one day in the middle of a storm and mystery my I had it was fall I think I had the fireplace on and I had my awning out because there was a little bit of rain and the wind picked up and flipped the awning onto the roof over top of the chimney and I was like Fuck! melt my awning with the chimney stack so I rushed out to try and rescue it and air, but where I was parked it went parking space cliff and so I fell off and the wind took when I was holding on to the awning it biffed me up in the air and threw me down so I've got an injury that I think is from the ant in this side of my neck and it often gives me migraine headaches over here of my face um so having a shoulder injury and only using one arm and shoulder I'm like worried about this side of my neck whether it's gonna that's gonna flare up <laughs> I'm, a, I'm a mess I'm a road pizza mess oh, I'm still freaking blown away by the fact that I didn't break any bones and I didn't have like you know like a whole chunk of my thigh so I'll show you here. You can now start to see it. There's going to be a massive bruise. Like, it's the size of my hand on the side of my leg. It's already a big mountain. You can see it sticking up. From part of the bike hitting me and landing me, I don't know. And then, of course, my little cute teenage knee, knee bandages. <laughs> you know? The things you have as a kid, and sometimes when you, they come back to haunt you as an adult, you're like, oh, this is way worse. Yesterday, so at the moment I have a, a cassette toilet, which I pee in, and I don't poop in it, um, as I transition into my new composting toilet. Even that, the composting toilet has a urine separator, which will um, bucket need to be emptied. But you forget how heavy those things are, and when you only have one arm... Picking up the urine cassette and taking it out and dumping it, it's really hard. So I had to have someone to come and help me. And today I want to try and make some jams and marmalade because I have all this fruit that I brought back from the Okanagan. And fruit ain't going to wait for nobody. It's going to not get any fresher. Um, so I need to cook it all up. I've been slowly eating some of it. I want to cook it and make it into some tasty, tasty things. Yay! Find some recipes. I have blackberries, gooseberries, grapes, peaches, and I think I've got some cherries, but I may have eaten most of them, so I'm probably going to eat the rest of the cherries. So yeah, my arm is kind of immobilized. I have a sling, I have a sling to put it in, and but the problem is I also have to not let the muscles atrophy, so I can't wear the sling all the time. I have to be moving it a little bit, and I can't really lift it more than that, so I'm going to keep you updated. It's my fault. The reason I fell off my bike was because I was trying to carry too many things home. And I have a trailer that I could have put them all in, but I was stubborn and decided not to take the trailer. I was trying to just carry it. And it caught on the handlebars and turned the handlebars 90 degrees very suddenly. And of course, when, you go f when you're going forward, your forward momentum does not take kindly 
to your handlebars turning a 90 degree angle. So you go splat. <laughs> Cherries, grapes, and in here we've got gooseberries and blackberries. Oh, I'm so excited! I'm so excited to be finally making some preserves! Yay! I'm gonna start them simmering and reducing and then I'm gonna decide what flavors to put in. I've got some lemon and lime and I'm thinking of either a herb or a spice to go with it. Oh, it's gonna be exciting! Still haven't dealt with my lavender, but we'll get there. Ooh, that beautiful fruit. I just put sugar in, and now I've cut up a lime, and I'm squeezing that in. It's so good that I still have one working arm. Because this would be very difficult otherwise. <laughs> although it's attracting the wasps. Now, normally you make marmalade with Seville oranges. I used to have a tin of Seville oranges. I've obviously used them. So I thought I'd just get an actual jar of marmalade and put the entire thing in with my fruit and then reset it because this will give it somewhat of a marmalade flavor in the absence of me having actual Seville oranges. So we have gooseberry blackberry marmalade. Yum. Secret ingredient. This is some one that I ground myself out of green cardamom pods. I love this. This is so freaking beautiful. It was a gift to me and I use it a lot for preserving. This is going to be quite interesting with one hand. I'm making a mess. swap hands because I can't lift the other elbow. Delicious post-preserve breakfast. <sighs> Yum. Now I'm just cleaning it. Doing more cleaning. Oh my gosh, someone's come to help and take care of me. Guess who it is? I had my first physio appointment yesterday and I was really sore afterwards. Today I have an acupuncture appointment because I'm worried about whiplash in my neck and more than that I'm worried about this side of my neck 
compensating for this side because I'm holding my shoulder. The, my rotator cuff on my right shoulder is not happy. And although I have a bunch of movement, there's still a lot of healing to go. It got quite wrenched. I don't think it's a full rotator cuff tear. It could just be a partial or a minor, so I guess time will tell. And then I have another physio appointment on Friday. <laughs> Body work hurts. Hopefully the hurt will turn to healing. I should show you some of the bruises I have on my leg too. Oh. And there's more bruises all the way up here and here. Hi, good morning. <laughs> I'm not filmable.